Welcome to Thoser 666. In this video, we'll dive deep into crafting the perfect build in The Witcher 3. We'll cover everything from character skills to equipment, so you can dominate the game as Geralt, the legendary monster hunter. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more gaming guides. Open Mouth Smile Video Game In The Witcher 3, character skills play a crucial role in shaping Geralt's abilities and playstyle. There are four main skill trees, Combat, Signs, Alchemy, and General. Each skill tree offers unique abilities and enhancements that contribute to creating a well-rounded build. The Combat skill tree focuses on improving Geralt's prowess in melee combat. It is divided into five branches, Fast Attack, Strong Attack, Defense, Marksmanship, and Battle Trance. Investing points in this tree will enhance Geralt's damage output, critical hit chance, and overall survivability in close quarters combat. The Signs skill tree revolves around enhancing the effectiveness of Geralt's magical abilities, known as Witcher Signs. There are five signs in total, Ard, Igni, Irden, Quen, and Axie. Each sign has its own branch within the skill tree, allowing players to specialize in specific signs or create a balanced build that utilizes all of them. The alchemy skill tree is centered around potion brewing, bomb crafting, and oil application. Investing points in this tree will increase the potency of Geralt's concoctions, expand his arsenal of bombs, and improve the effectiveness of blade oils. This skill tree is perfect for players who enjoy a more strategic and preparation-focused playstyle. Lastly, the general skill tree offers a variety of passive abilities that can benefit any build. These skills range from increasing Geralt's health and stamina to improving his carrying capacity and crossbow damage. Investing in the general skill tree can provide useful utility and versatility to your build. In conclusion, understanding the different skill trees in The Witcher 3 and their importance in creating a well-rounded build is essential for maximizing Geralt's potential as a monster hunter. Experimenting with various combinations of skills from the combat, signs, alchemy, and general trees will allow you to tailor Geralt's abilities to your preferred playstyle. In The Witcher 3, the combat skill tree offers a variety of abilities that cater to different playstyles. Let's break down the best combat skills to invest in for various playstyles, such as fast attacks, strong attacks, and defense. For players who prefer a fast attack playstyle, investing in the following skills is highly recommended. 1. Muscle Memory. Increases fast attack damage by a percentage, making your quick strikes more lethal. 2. Precise Blows. Increases the chance of landing a critical hit with fast attacks, further enhancing your damage output. 3. Whirl, unlocks a powerful spinning attack that can hit multiple enemies in close range, perfect for crowd control. For those who favor a strong attack playstyle, consider investing in these skills. 1. Strength Training, increases strong attack damage by a percentage, making your heavy strikes hit harder. 2. Crushing Blows, increases the chance of landing a critical hit with strong attacks dealing even more damage to your foes. 3. Rend, unlocks a devastating overhead strike that can bypass enemy defenses and deal massive damage. Lastly, for players who prioritize defense and survivability, the following skills are essential. 1. Arrow Deflection, allows Geralt to deflect arrows while parrying, providing protection against ranged attacks. 2. Fleet-Footed, Reduces damage taken while dodging, making it easier to avoid enemy attacks and stay in the fight. 3. Counterattack. After a successful counterattack, this skill increases the damage of your next attack, rewarding skillful play and timing. By investing in these combat skills, you can tailor Geralt's abilities to your preferred playstyle, whether it's fast attacks, strong attacks, or defense. Experiment with different combinations to find the perfect balance for your Witcher 3 experience. In The Witcher 3, signs are magical abilities that Geralt can use to gain an advantage in combat and various other situations. There are five main signs, Ard, Igni, Irden, Quen, and Axie. Each sign has its own unique properties and can be enhanced through the sign skill tree. Let's discuss the significance of signs and highlight the most effective sign skills for different situations. Ard is a telekinetic force that can stagger or knock down enemies, 
making it useful for crowd control and creating openings for follow-up attacks. The far-reaching ARD skill increases the range of this sign, allowing you to affect more enemies at once. Igni is a fire-based sign that deals damage and has a chance to set enemies ablaze, causing them to panic and take damage over time. The Melt Armor skill enhances Igni's effectiveness by reducing the enemy's armor, making them more vulnerable to your attacks. Eerdon is a magical trap that slows down enemies within its radius, making it easier to dodge their attacks and land your own. The Magic Trap skill improves Eerdon by adding a secondary effect that damages and has a chance to destroy enemy projectiles. Quen is a protective shield that absorbs a certain amount of damage before breaking. The Active Shield skill enhances Quen by allowing you to maintain the shield while also regenerating health when it absorbs damage. Axie is a mind control sign that can temporarily turn enemies against their allies or stun them, providing opportunities for free hits. The Puppet skill improves Axie by increasing the damage dealt by the controlled enemy, making them a more potent ally in battle. In conclusion, signs play a significant role in The Witcher 3, offering a variety of tactical options for different situations. By investing in the Signs skill tree and enhancing these abilities, you can create a versatile and powerful Geralt capable of overcoming any challenge. In The Witcher 3, the Alchemy skill tree plays a vital role in enhancing Geralt's abilities through the use of potions, oils, and bombs. Investing in this skill tree can significantly improve your gameplay experience by providing strategic advantages in various combat situations. Potions are consumable items that grant temporary buffs or restore health and stamina. By investing in skills such as Heightened Tolerance, which increases the maximum toxicity level, Geralt can consume more potions simultaneously without suffering from negative side effects. The Refreshment skill further enhances potion usage by providing a percentage of health restoration upon consumption. Oils are applied to Geralt's swords to increase their effectiveness against specific enemy types. Skills like Poisoned Blades and Protective Coating can greatly improve the potency of oils. Poisoned Blades adds a chance to poison enemies with each hit, dealing damage over time, while Protective Coating increases Geralt's damage resistance against the targeted enemy type. Bombs are throwable items that deal damage or apply crowd control effects. Investing in skills such as Cluster Bombs, which causes bombs to split into multiple smaller explosions, can increase their area of effect and damage potential. The Efficiency skill allows Geralt to carry more bombs of each type, providing more opportunities to use them in combat. In conclusion, the Alchemy skill tree in The Witcher 3 offers a wide range of benefits for players who enjoy a strategic and preparation-focused playstyle. By investing in potion, oil, and bomb enhancements, you can create a versatile and powerful Geralt capable of adapting to various combat situations and enemy types. In The Witcher 3, there are several general skills that can complement any build, regardless of your focus on combat, signs, or alchemy. These skills provide benefits such as increased health, stamina, and carrying capacity, making Geralt more versatile and resilient in various situations. Let's discuss some essential general skills that can enhance any playstyle. 1. Sun and Stars. This skill provides passive health regeneration during the day and stamina regeneration during the night. It's a valuable addition to any build, as it reduces the reliance on consumables for health and stamina recovery. 2. Gourmet. Gourmet extends the duration of food effects, allowing Geralt to benefit from their healing properties for a longer period. This skill is particularly useful for players who prefer not to rely heavily on potions for health restoration. 3. Cat School Techniques. This skill increases critical hit damage and fast attack damage for each piece of light armor equipped. It's an excellent choice for players who prefer a fast, agile playstyle and want to maximize their damage output. 4. Bear School Techniques. This skill increases strong attack damage and maximum health for each piece of heavy armor equipped. It's ideal for players who prefer a tanky, defensive playstyle and want to increase their survivability. 5. Griffin School Techniques. This skill increases sign intensity and stamina regeneration for each piece of medium armor equipped. It's a great option for players who want to focus on signs and maintain a balance between offense and defense. 6. Strong Back. 
This skill increases Geralt's carrying capacity, allowing him to carry more items without becoming overburdened. It's a useful skill for players who enjoy looting and exploring the world without having to worry about inventory management. In conclusion, investing in these general skills can provide significant benefits to any build in The Witcher 3. By enhancing Geralt's health, stamina, and carrying capacity, you can create a well-rounded character capable of adapting to various challenges and playstyles. In The Witcher 3, selecting the right equipment and gear is crucial for complementing your chosen build and enhancing Geralt's overall effectiveness in combat. Armor, weapons, and Witcher gear sets play a significant role in determining your playstyle, survivability, and damage output. Let's discuss the importance of these elements in more detail. Armor comes in three main categories, light, medium, and heavy. Each type of armor offers different benefits and trade-offs. Light armor provides better stamina regeneration and mobility, making it suitable for agile, fast attack-focused builds. Medium armor strikes a balance between protection and stamina regeneration, making it ideal for players who want to use a mix of combat and sign abilities. Heavy armor offers the highest damage resistance but at the cost of slower stamina regeneration, making it suitable for tanky, strong attack-focused builds. Weapons, including steel and silver swords, are essential for dealing damage to human and monster enemies, respectively. Choosing the right weapon with the appropriate damage, critical hit chance, and other attributes can significantly impact your combat effectiveness. Additionally, weapons can be further enhanced with runes and glyphs, providing additional bonuses such as increased sign intensity or armor-piercing capabilities. Witcher gear sets are unique equipment sets that offer bonuses when multiple pieces are equipped. These sets are tailored to specific playstyles and can greatly enhance your chosen build. For example, the Feline, Cat, School gear set is designed for fast attack-focused builds, while the Ursine, Bear, School gear set is tailored for strong attack and defensive playstyles. The Gryphon School gear set is ideal for players who want to focus on signs and maintain a balance between offense and defense. In conclusion, selecting the right armor, weapons, and Witcher gear sets is essential for optimizing your chosen build in The Witcher 3. By carefully considering your playstyle and investing in the appropriate equipment, you can create a powerful and versatile Geralt capable of overcoming any challenge. In The Witcher 3, mutations are a powerful way to enhance your build and create synergies between your skills. Unlocked through the Blood and Wine expansion, mutations provide additional passive abilities that can significantly impact Geralt's combat effectiveness. Let's discuss how to unlock mutations and utilize them to create powerful skill synergies. To unlock mutations, you must first complete the Turn and Face the Strange quest which becomes available after starting the Blood and Wine expansion. Upon completing this quest, you will gain access to the mutation system, allowing you to invest ability points and mutagens to unlock and upgrade mutations. Mutations are divided into three categories, Combat, Sign, and Alchemy. Each category offers unique benefits that can complement your chosen build. For example, the deadly counter mutation in the combat category allows Geralt to instantly kill enemies below a certain health threshold when performing a counterattack. The piercing cold mutation in the sign category adds a freezing effect to the Ard sign, potentially freezing enemies in place and making them vulnerable to follow-up attacks. To create powerful skill synergies, it's essential to choose mutations that complement your existing abilities and playstyle. For instance, if you have a strong focus on fast attacks and critical hits, the Cat Eyes mutation can significantly increase your critical hit damage and chance, creating a synergy with your existing fast attack skills. Similarly, if you have invested heavily in the Alchemy skill tree, the Euphoria mutation can provide a massive boost to your sword damage and sign intensity based on your current toxicity level, synergizing with your potion and decoction usage. In conclusion, unlocking and utilizing mutations in The Witcher 3 can greatly enhance your build and create powerful skill synergies. By carefully selecting mutations that complement your existing abilities and playstyle, you can create a formidable Geralt capable of overcoming even the toughest challenges. In The Witcher 3, there are various builds that cater to different playstyles, allowing players to tailor Geralt's abilities to their preferences.
Let's showcase a few example builds, including a combat-focused build, a signs-heavy build, and a balanced build. Combat-focused build. This build emphasizes Geralt's prowess in melee combat, focusing on fast attacks, strong attacks, and critical hits. Key skills to invest in include muscle memory, precise blows, and whirl for fast attacks, as well as strength training, crushing blows, and rend for strong attacks. Additionally, investing in the Cat School Technique's general skill will further enhance your damage output with light armor. For mutations, consider choosing Cat Eyes or Deadly Counter to synergize with your combat abilities. Signs Heavy Build A Signs Heavy Build focuses on maximizing the effectiveness of Geralt's signs, such as Igni, Quen, and Ard. Key skills to invest in include Far-Reaching Ard, Ard Sweep, and Piercing Cold for Ard. Melt Armor, Fire Stream, and Pyromaniac for Igni, an Active Shield, Quen Intensity, and Quen Discharge for Quen. The Griffin School Technique's general skill will boost your Sign Intensity and Stamina Regeneration with Medium Armor. For Mutations, consider choosing Piercing Cold or Conductors of Magic to enhance your Sign abilities. Balanced Build a balanced build aims to create a versatile Geralt capable of adapting to various situations by combining combat, signs, and alchemy abilities. Key skills to invest in include muscle memory and strength training for basic combat abilities, far-reaching art and melt armor for sign usage, and heightened tolerance and refreshment for alchemy. The Bear School Technique's general skill can provide a balance between offense and defense with heavy armor. For mutations, consider choosing Metamorphosis or Euphoria to synergize with your diverse skill set. In conclusion, The Witcher 3 offers a wide range of build options to suit different playstyles. By carefully selecting skills, gear, and mutations, you can create a Geralt that excels in combat, signs, or a balanced approach, allowing you to enjoy the game in your preferred way. In this video, we've explored various builds and strategies in The Witcher 3, focusing on the importance of selecting the right armor, weapons, and Witcher gear sets to complement your chosen build. We've also discussed how to unlock and utilize mutations to further enhance your build and create powerful skill synergies. Remember, experimenting with different builds and playstyles is key to discovering what works best for you and enjoying the game to its fullest potential. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Thoser666 for more gaming content. Party Popper Thumbs Up